Okay, we're going to be installing the LED light bar on the back of the F-150, 2017 F-150. Where that's going to go is right in there. This is the top of the bumper. This is the bottom of the tailgate. We're going to be going right in that spot right there. So that when we, when we get it installed and everything, we'll have turn signal, brake lights, reverse lights. Um... F-150s aren't great as far as backup lights go, so that's the main reason we're putting this in here, is to uh, get the backup lights. So, all right, this is our wiring. Um, it says on the paper here that the ground is shown as red. The ground is actually blue. Uh, running lights is showing as white, which I agree with. Yellow left turn signal and green right turn signal. And off the light, I guess there's another wire that's red for reverse. Um, initially, when I plugged it into the four, the flat four connector, it did not work the way it's supposed to. Some weird stuff was going on. Tried it on multiple vehicles. Got the plug off, uh, bench tested it, and it actually does work the way it's supposed to, just not with that plug. So if you have one of these and it's not working right, if you hardwire it, Probably be in good shape, of course. Always test it after you cut that plug off. Um, but it's supposed to be, when we're finished, a sequential turn signal, uh, running lights, which would be a little lighter red, our brake lights, which will be brighter, our reverse lights, which will come on with reverse, and our double flash, of course, will be sequential in both directions. So we'll give her a go, see what happens. Okay, before attempting to take your tailgate off, what we want to make sure is that underneath here, over by the trailer plug area, there's a white plug here that goes up through a grommet back here. And that is for our backup camera. So we want to make sure that that wire is through that grommet before we go to uninstall the tailgate. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get it off. Okay, so we got our cardboard in place for when we disconnect the tailgate so we don't damage the paint on the tailgate. We are going to undo this little guy here and this little guy here. When we do that, the tailgate will drop onto the plastic cap on the bumper. So we wanna make sure that we protect that. We're gonna get this lined up over here afterwards. That little guy right there. Once we get that in the proper position, we're gonna lift this side of the tailgate out, passenger side out, and pull that towards the rear of the vehicle, and we're gonna slide the other side out. The other side is not slotted, and that's gonna remove our tailgate. But first, we're gonna make sure that that wire there comes out freely from that grommet. That's our backup camera. Uh, that's the connection we already un un undid. So, normally, it'd be best to have two people to remove this tailgate. I don't have two people, so I'm gonna try this by myself, see if it works. If not, I'll have to wait until I get someone here. I think I can do it. It's going to be awkward, but I think I can get it done. All right, we got the rear tailgate off. That's where we're going to be putting the light bar. We want to be above the bumper so that we can see it. We want to be below the bottom of the tailgate, which is going to be right here. So we're going to run this right along where those rivets are there. We're probably going to use this body line right here. On the very bottom, we're probably going to use this line right here as a guide to get us where we want to be. And we do have this grommet to contend with. Um, I'm not sure exactly where it's going to fit in relationship to that grommet, but we're going to try to get it up as high as we can this way by that grommet. But we're going to go ahead and test the wires, uh, 
make sure everything works and show you how to mark the centers. All right, just to verify, I did take a manual measurement from there to there on both directions and they both measure out the same. So I'm good to go with that. Uh, where I'm gonna go is in between these two sets of LEDs right here. If I'm off, uh, in between, <laughs> sorry, in between these two sets of LEDs right here, if I'm, off, if I'm off an eighth of an inch or quarter of an inch, no one's gonna notice. Um, as long as you're pretty much close to center. So that's how you get the center of the LED strip. Now we're going to go show you how to get the center of the vehicle and how to mark that so you can get it lined up properly. Okay, where we're measuring is we're going to measure from this area right here to that same spot on the other side. It's going to be all the way over here. Uh, when you took that measurement, that measurement is 59 inches. So to get our half of that, we're going to divide that in half. That's going to put us at 29. So we're going to mark 29 with a piece of tape right here in the middle. And then we're going to measure both directions as a double check and a verify to make sure that that is the center. Okay, we have the center of the LED bar marked piece of tape comes off easily we have the center of the vehicle marked we're gonna go with this edge right here I'm within an eighth of an inch that's close enough for anybody's guess you're not gonna see an eighth of an inch we're gonna clean the area up down here where the LED strips going to be going if you've never used this before if you put anything that has 3M tape or supposedly 3M tape on adhesion promoter. This will guarantee that it's going to stick. We've used this in the past, not had any issues with anything coming loose. If you do that, um, clean with isopropyl alcohol, use the adhesion promoter right before you're getting ready to put it down. Once you put it down, it's stuck. You're not going to be able to move it. So make sure that you don't use that if it's going to be something you want to take back off again. Um, if it's going to be something you're leaving on, uh, once I put this on, I'm going to leave this on the vehicle. It works fantastic as far as hold ability goes. It's just phenomenal. Quick shout out to Fairway Ford. Looking for a Ford vehicle. Go see them guys in Canfield. Great people. I uh, look forward to doing some more work with them in the future. So if you're looking for a vehicle, go see those guys. All right, so we got the double side tape and the adhesion promoter put on there. Everything looks good. We'll go ahead and wire loom this wire here real quick. Tuck it up underneath and show you the connections. All right, we're gonna fish our red wire up from underneath. You see the red wire right there. And we're gonna tap it in to where the reverse light is. I've replaced that with an LED bulb. Try to help with the backup lights. Eh, it's better. It's still kind of weak. Fords are pretty known for that. But we're gonna go ahead and tap that red wire into our LED bulb here so that we can have reverse lights. Just got done metering out the wire. And it's going to be this green wire right here. It's going to be our reverse tap in. So we're going to tap into that reverse light on the driver's side. Wiring for our turn signals. Went ahead and utilized a ground point on the frame. Uh, with aluminum body, you want to be careful not to ground to the body. Uh, there can be corrosion issues when you get two dissimilar metals. So we ground it to the frame right here for our ground. We actually tapped in the ground from the cap installation. 
what I pulled off over here, that's from my tailgate, I haven't got that back on yet. But right here is our plug for the trailer connection, our seven-way plug. Uh, push down right here on this edge, and that comes right off. What we're going to be utilizing is brown for the running lights and the yellow and the green. Okay, we got these wires buttoned up and wire loomed. Ran down below. Those are that's the wire tap in for our reverse lights. Okay, what could possibly go wrong with a simple LED light strip install. Well, the strip is defective. So we got it in. I got running lights and I have reverse lights. When I hooked the turn signals up, the th same thing happened that happened when I tried using the flat four. They just don't work properly. I double checked and triple checked the ground. Um, Obviously an issue with this cheap LED light strip. Uh, we had one of these on a previous vehicle, worked fine. I do not recommend this product. Um, I got my reverse lights. That was my major one that I was looking for. But having said that, the sequential turn signals would have been really cool and they were cool on the other, on the other install. But wasn't meant to be. This is what happens sometimes when you do stuff. Um, if you buy a less expensive product, sometimes it does come back to bite you. Uh, this was not a $100 product or a $50 product. This was a really inexpensive LED light strip. And I got what I paid for. But that's a chance you take when you don't spend a ton of money on something. Uh, the installation came out really decent as far as I was concerned. All the wires worked the way they were supposed to. Got the tailgate put back on. Okay, so to finish off, uh, the LED light bar installation was a success. Uh, looks really good as far as running lights and reverse lights go. Turn signals did not work. Uh, that's why I didn't show you the final wiring because I was a little upset. As you would be too if you spent that kind of time troubleshooting it only to find out it's a defective product. But I have contacted uh, where I bought it from. They are going to refund me. The price of the light bar they told me to keep it unfortunately i won't get the time back that i've invested in putting it in that's the way life works sometimes sometimes you get the bull by the horns and sometimes the bull gets you but just goes to show no matter what you think nothing ever goes the way it's planned and sometimes you run into problems there's your wife's raptor Sometimes you run into problems, and that's just the way it goes. But overall, not too bad. Pretty happy with it. 